Good morning, Elizabeth. It's Monday the 21st of June and I have two arms. Couple of things this video. First of all, my iPhone's dead. It still works in that all the applications work. It just doesn't work as a phone anymore. Essentially, it's just an eye. There's no point in getting a new one because I'm gonna get an iPhone 4 when they come out. So this means that for the last two or three days, I've been off the grid. In the meantime, I have ye olde piece of crap phone. This is the phone I used when I was homeless and it does basic phony things, but very little else. I can play Snake and I can play Elf, which is exactly like Pac-Man in every single way, except it's called Elf. I also worked out how to get Portal on there. So today I thought I'd talk about how a credit card works. As you know, I've recently started to work at a call center and part of my duties is explaining to customers how credit cards work. Now I've had a credit card for many years and until I went through training, I didn't know how credit cards worked. This is partially because when I signed up for my credit card, the person I spoke to on the phone also had no idea how credit cards worked. And today I was talking to my chiropractor, who is probably one of the smartest people I've ever met. And despite having had one for almost 20 years, he didn't know how credit cards worked either. So I thought I'd explain to everyone watching this exactly how a credit card works. When you make a purchase on a credit card, you're spending money that you don't actually have. As soon as you make a purchase, you start to pay the bank interest. Every time you make another purchase, the amount of interest you're paying goes up. And every time you make a payment, the amount of interest goes down. So just say you buy something for $10, and then four days later you buy something for $100. The interest that you pay between those two transactions is 10 times four times your rate over 365. Then say two days later you make a payment and you pay it all off. During those two days you pay 110 times two times rate over 365. Very important that you understand that. As soon as you buy anything, you're paying interest. Now that's not how they sell it to you. The reason most people get a credit card is because of this thing called interest days period. I'm only gonna explain this once, so pay attention. So as soon as you make a purchase, you're paying interest. Now if, and only if, you pay your entire balance off within 25 days of the statement issue, not the day you get the statement, the day the bank sends it, if you pay the entire balance off within 25 days, they will waive the interest. That's how credit cards work. It sounds very simple, but there are two things that a lot of people don't understand. Firstly, if you owe $1,000, it doesn't matter if you pay off $999, unless you pay the entire $1,000 within those 25 days, you will be charged interest. Secondly, when they say up to 55 days interest free, it's only up to 55 days. If you make a purchase the day after your statement issues, then you'll get 55 days. If you make a purchase the day before your statement issues, you only get 25 days. Anyway, I'm sure I've gone way over time, but if you know anyone who has a credit card, send them the link to this video because no one I've ever met has actually understood how a credit card works. The only way to own a credit card and not pay any interest is to pay off the entire balance before the due date of your statement or to not make any purchases. Anyway, that's all for me today. Elizabeth, I'll see you tomorrow.